Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series. Convert 3D Model. The Convert 3D Model command enables 3D AutoCAD objects to be converted into fabrication items. This is especially useful for air handling units and other equipment as each make and model is unique. Convert 3D Model creates items with accurate shapes and sizes for clash detection. You can also add the correct specifications, weight, price, and more to a converted item. You have the ability to connect the correct size pipe, duct, or cable tray to the item. Inserting a predefined AutoCAD block called CONDEF enables the user to define attachment points for the converted model. Attributes within the CONDEF block control the type, shape, size, and location of connections to the item. Converted models only have node snap connection points as defined by the CONDEF block. Additional snaps at other locations on the model may be needed. Inserting a predefined block called Snap Point enables the user to set snap points to the model geometry. All snap point blocks will be converted to endpoint snaps. The endpoint snaps allow AutoCAD object snaps to snap to the predetermined point. In this exercise, you import a .sat file and use both the CONDEF block and snap point block to convert a 3D pump into a fabrication item. Open convert3dmodel.dwg from the exercise folder. This is an empty drawing. Set the service to ADSK Hydronic Heating Water Supply. On the AutoCAD ribbon, click the Insert tab. Select the Import button or enter Import in the command line. The Import File dialog appears. Change the files of type to ACIS.SAT. Browse to the Exercise folder and select Convert3dPump.SAT. Click Open. Zoom and pan as necessary to display the imported pump. This is a manufacturer's 3D model of a pump exported from Autodesk Inventor. Change to an SW isometric view with realistic visual style to verify the 3D geometry. For this pump, the input or suction connection is at the end. The output or discharge connection faces upwards. Snap points should be added to all four corners of pump base and at the bottom center of the base. Placing snap points at key insertion or snap to points is a best practice. It makes moving the item to a specific location easier. The placement of a snap point at the bottom center enables snapping to a mounting pad. Change to a hidden visual style and confirm that the OS mode is set to 47. On the AutoCAD ribbon, click on the Insert tab. Select Insert or type Insert in the command line. The Insert dialog appears. Browse to the Exercise folder. Select SnapPoint.DWG and click Open. For Insertion Point, enable Specify On Screen. For Scale, disable Specify On Screen and confirm that X, Y, and Z are set to 1. For Rotation, disable Specify On Screen. Angle should be set to 0. Click OK. You're prompted to specify insertion point. Zoom into the bottom left corner of the pump base. Place the snap point block on the bottom left corner of the pump base. This snap point block is much larger than you would normally use. It has been enlarged for easier use with this exercise. Use the AutoCAD copy command to copy this block to the other corners of the pump base. Changing AutoCAD views or using the AutoCAD 3D Orbit functionality can make this easier. A final snap point must be added to the center of the base. Change the view to bottom. The visual style should still be hidden. The easiest method for placing the snap point block at the center of the pump base is to insert the block using the mid between two points O snap override. To do this, insert the snap point block again. You're prompted to specify insertion point. Press Shift plus right click and the right click shortcut menu appears. Select mid between two points. 
You're prompted to pick first point of mid. Pick the center of the bottom left stat point that you previously placed on the pump base. You're prompted to pick the second point of mid. Pick the center of the top right snap block at the diagonally opposite corner of the pump base. The snap point block is inserted at the middle of these two points, placing it directly in the center of the pump base bottom surface. Change to a left view. Next, you'll insert a block named CONDEF to define a suction or input connection point for a supply pipe. Using the Insert command, browse to the Exercise folder and select CONDEF.DWG. Notice the preview image of the selected block. CONDEF block contains attributes which determine the size and shape for the connections to the converted item. In this case, CONDEF will define the sizes of pipes connecting to the pump. The blue arrow defines the placement of the primary connection and the red arrow is the secondary connection. This block represents how the attacher arrow will be placed once the pump is converted into an item. For rotation, enable Specify on screen. The other settings remain unchanged. Select OK. You're prompted to specify an insertion point. Shift plus right click to display the OSNAP overrides shortcut menu. Select Center. Select the center of the suction connection at the far right end of the pump. You're prompted to specify rotation angle. It may help to turn ortho mode on by pressing the F8 key. Rotate the block so that the red arrow points upwards and the blue arrow points to the right. The Edit Attributes dialog appears. If the dialog does not appear and AutoCAD prompts in the command line, set ATTDIA and ATTREQ to 1, and repeat the steps. For depth and width, enter the number 5. Enter round for the type. The depth and width for piping must be the same value as piping is round. Entering different values results in an oval shape. The type can be set to round, as is appropriate for pipes and round ducts, or to rectangular for ducts. Click OK to save these attributes to the inserted block. Zoom all to display the pump with the newly inserted connection definition block. The inserted block displays the attribute values that were entered. Insert the CONDEF block a second time at the discharge connection for the pump. Choose Insert, CONDEF, Center O Snap Override, Center of the Discharge Port at the top of the pump. Rotate the CONDEF block so that the blue arrow points upwards and the red arrow points to the left. The Edit Attribute dialog appears. Enter the number 4 for both the depth and width. Enter Round for the type. Press OK to save the attributes and return to the drawing. Zoom all to see the newly placed block and the attributes. The pump with its associated snap point and connection definition blocks can now be converted to a fabrication item. Right click, select CAD MEP, then select Utilities and select Convert 3D Models. You can also enter Convert 3D Model in the command line. You're prompted to select Objects. Type All and press Enter to close the selection set. The pump and blocks are highlighted. Press Enter again to execute the command. The Extract Model Data dialog appears. You have the option to delete the selected AutoCAD objects from the drawing. For this exercise, select Yes. The item has now been converted from 3D AutoCAD objects to a fabrication item. Change to an SW isometric view and a shaded with edges visual style. Notice that the pump has been converted to surfaces. The converted item must be saved to the item library. Right click CAD MEP Utilities and select Save Item to Folder. You may also enter Save to Folder in the command line. You're prompted to select objects. Select the pump item and the 3D solid window appears. The view in the view pane defaults to the last selected view and visual style. 
You need not change it, but the current view of the pump will become the icon for the pump item. Before saving the new pump item, click on the Item tab and set the specification to Not Set. This enables you to later specify the specification properly. Select OK to save the item and the Save Item File As dialog appears. In the left pane, navigate to Imperial Content, Mechanical, Equipment. Right click on the Equipment Folder icon and select New Folder. In the Page Properties window, enter Pumps for the folder name. Click OK to create the new folder. A problem warning appears asking if you want to create the folder. Click Yes. The new Pumps folder appears within the Equipment folder. Make sure the Pumps folder is selected and name the item file 3D Convert Pump. Select Save and the item is saved to the Pumps folder. Delete all items in the model by using the AutoCAD Erase command and entering All. Change to a top view with the 2D wireframe visual style. Display the folder's interface by selecting the Display Folders Interface button on the CAD MEP toolbar or by entering folders in the command line. The folder's interface appears. In the lower pane, navigate to Imperial Content, Mechanical, Equipment and select the Pumps folder. The 3D Convert Pump item is shown in the upper pane. Right click on the pump item and select Edit. The item editor window appears. This item was created from a manufacturer's 3D model. All of the dimensions for this pump are fixed and must be locked to prevent changes. Lock the first dimension and then drag down over all settings to lock all dimensions. Select the Options tab. Set the values for inlet to 2 and outlet to 1. A value of 2 indicates a supply or inlet connection, whereas a value of 1 indicates a discharge or outlet connection. Set the library value to Pipework by clicking in the field until Pipework appears. Clicking in this field cycles through the three possible values, Duct, Pipework, and Electrical. Lock the values on the Options tab. Right click in the viewing pane and verify that Connection Indicators is enabled. Redraw by pressing the F7 key. Rotate and zoom in the viewer to locate the sphere indicator at the inlet connection and the cone indicator at the outlet connection. Redraw to reset the view. Click on the Item tab. Set the specification to Mechanical General Piping. The value is automatically locked. Enable the Bought Out option. Scroll down and set the service type to 51 Pump. Click on the Other tab. Set both C1 and C2 to Generic Mechanical, GRC Flange, Class 150 FF. Redraw the pump to observe the changes. The faces of the connections are shaded gray to indicate that a connector type has been set. Click OK to save the pump with these new settings. Change to a top view with a 2D wireframe visual style. Double click on the 3D Convert Pump item in the folder interface to place it in the model. Double click on the item to see all of the item information. Locked values are shown in gray. Click Cancel to return to the model. Change to an SW isometric view. When in a 2D wireframe view, the converted item may show only lines and seem to be missing some faces. Change to a conceptual visual style to better see the 3D item. Working in the conceptual visual style is usually not recommended, but for this exercise remain in the conceptual visual style. If the attacher arrow is not displayed, attach it to the discharge outlet that faces upwards. In the Heating Water Supply Service Palette, select the Welded tab. Select the pipe ERW Black BE item. A pipe segment is attached to the pump's discharge port. 
place the attacher arrow onto the suction connection. In the service pallet, select the same pipe item. A pipe attaches to the pump's suction port.